Hello again, Ozzy here. Picked up a couple of tips that were just too good to pass up on, so I wanted to throw a video out here. The first one is the texture tool. So I'm going to make me a flat workspace real quick. Lift this up off the ground. Someone had mentioned this on the forums. I didn't quite understand what they were doing and I, they were talking about it. And I experimented with it and realized that this is just a ridiculously awesome tool. So I have an area here that I'd like to fill. I'd like to fill it with grass. So I hold down the Alt key and you'll notice that my cursor now has this white line on it. I can select a section of texture, let's say this short grass here, click, and then grab the fill tool and bury myself under my template. I have covered my area with grass. Now I can then say grab a smaller area and let's say I want to use this type of plant here. I can then use the fill tool and fill that with a different plant. This gives you just a tremendous amount of customization on your plot. I had no idea that you could do this and this is insane. I, in this particular context, want to use stone. So I'm just going to grab my native stone right over there, grab my fill tool, drop it on, boom, my stone. Now, this next tool, this next option, someone had mentioned to me they wanted to know how I made arches and I just, the way I make my arches is stupid, I don't like them, and I found on Reddit this gentleman by the name of Commiss Commissar Gridmark who posted a visual representation of how to make arches that just blew me away. So I wanted to play around with it. I'm going to grab my delete tool, but I'm going to make it a circle. And I'm going to make it a decent sized circle. Say that big. And I do not know, well, so if you won't let me do it on the top, I'll do it on the side. Up, there we go. So I have to play around. Now I'm going to cut this out. Click. I've now made a hole. That hole is perfectly round. I will now grab the select tool and shrink it down and I will grab a two square wide area and I will slide it over a little and I will move it down and I will pull it up to the level of the top Move it down a little more. First time actually doing this, so we'll have some fun. And I'm going to press Control C. Then I'm going to press Control V. I have an arch. I'm going to rotate it. Let's bring it up. Let's flip it. And if I wanted to make a bunch of these, I would just simply click, click, click. That's an archway. This is obviously messy. This is my first time doing it, but that's amazing and perfectly round. I mean, and I can obviously trim it off if I want to. I can grab this side right here, clean all that off, narrow it out, make it look a little cleaner. I would like again to thank Commissar Gridmark for posting this out on Reddit. This is fantastic. Hope this helps. If I find any other tips, I'll make more videos. Thanks for your time.